مكان صوت <تصفيق> طيب بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم then inshallah ta'ala we're going to continue in our reading of the book Thalatha to Rasul or is also known as Rasul Thalatha and we have now uh, arrived at the uh, proofs for the five pillars inshallah ta'ala so we will finish this uh, today and next week inshallah we will do the level of Iman and then we'll do it and the week after that and uh, probably we'll try to do that in one dars or two and then we'll be into the, the last of the three principles so we're nearing the end of this inshallah type the author rahimahullah ta'ala he said wa dalilu ash-shahadati qawluhu ta'ala shahid allah annahu la ilaha illa huwa والملائكه واولو العلم قائما بالقسط لا اله الا هو العزيز العزيز الحكيم نعم so he said in the proof for the shahada is that allah he testified he bears witness that there is indeed no deity worthy of worship except for him and the malaika also this wow is wow atif wa ulul al and the people of knowledge qa'imam bil qist that he is maintaining his creation with justice la ilaha illa huwa and there is no deity except for him al azizu al hakim the al aziz al hakim yani the aziz the high and yani mighty okay al hakim when in the the the, the, the wise al hakim when the sifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are mentioned in be you know individually it has a quality but when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions the sifat together it enhances the quality and understanding right for example somebody who has izza right when you think of izza what do you think of you think of kings and rulers right they have high and mighty and they have power right what is commonly associated with rulers was that no corruption oppression okay oppression right allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he is al aziz and he says he is al hakim that his izza is perfect with no deficiency and he is al hakim the one who is just so his izza is with justice and his in his in his justice with izza you know some people when you see people who seem to be very fair they're also often times what they don't have izza they're very low you know people do not really respect them because people are always taking their rights from them right yeah. but allah has izza you know he's al aziz He's Al Hakim. So then he said, Wa ma'naha la ma'buda bi haqqin illallah. And the meaning of the shahada, okay, the meaning of the shahada is that there is no ma'bud. Ma'bud is the ism maf'ul for abida, ya'budu. So it is. The ism maf'ul for worship, 
So the one who receives worship, there is none that receives worship bil haq in reality, in truth, except for Allah. Except for Allah. And again, the meaning of Allah, al ma'bud, al ma'luh. The one who is worshipped, the one who is served. Right? This is the tafsir of Ibn Abbas. This is the explanation, uh, the definition that was given by Ibn Abbas. Al ma'bud, al ma'lu. Then he said, La ilaha, nafiyan, jamiya ma yu'badu, min dunillahi. That La ilaha is a statement that means literally there is no deity that is worshipped, period. And that this statement is a negation for everything that could be worshipped besides Allah. Now here, Yani, he is, he's giving the ifbat already before he is, you know, finishing the statement. But in reality, the statement is just a, a negation. If I just said it generally, you know what I mean? Like, if somebody just comes to you and says that la ilaha, you would say this person is a, you know, somebody who is a, a atheist, right? You'd say they're an atheist, jazakallah khair. Here, the sheikh is giving the, yani, the taxis that's coming here, yani, the istithna with it. But the istithna comes after. The exception comes after with the statement of istithna. So you have the uh, la ilaha, yani this is nafi, then you have el istith the istithna, right? After, inshallah, right? Illallah. So he said <clears throat> that this is a, a negation for everything that is worshipped Yu'badu means it is worshipped. We don't know the, the doer, right? If I say Ya'budu, I know who's doing. If I say Yu'badu, I don't know who's I don't know who's doing. Okay? Mindunillah. So anybody who worships anything other than Allah, it is negation, absolutely. Illallah. He, he said Illallah. Mufbitan. Al ibadata. Lillahi wahdahu la sharika lahu fi ibadatihi kama annahu la sharika lahu fi mulkihi. He said, and illallah is muthbatin, it is confirming, yani it is affirming that worship is for Allah, that al-ibadah lillah, that worship, all worship. Al-ibadah, yani anything that comes under, yani the type that it was considered worship, it is worship, it's for Allah, anything, right? Wahdahu, that there is, that he is by, uh, uh, alone himself, la sharika lahu, without any partners, right? So that the worship is for him alone, it, when he has no partners, okay, fi ibadatihi in his worship, okay. Kama anahu la sharika lahu fi muqlihi. So, similar to how there is no, there is indeed no partner for him in his, yani dominion and sovereignty over his creation, right? Because he's Rabbi Alameen, as we studied before, that. His being the 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 Rab is that Yani Khalaku Kulishay, Razaka the Kulishay, Mudabir Kulishay, right? Mudabir the Kulishay. Yani Mukihi wa Tadbirihi. So some of the scholars they said, Yani just these three, and some said it in four. They said Khalkihi wa Rizkihi, then they say Mukihi wa Tadbirihi. Okay. Some of them just say, just say Fil Khalk. Fil a risk wa fil a tadbir, okay, and in the tadbir, the managing of the affairs is yani the ownership, okay. Then he said, 
وتفسيرها الذي يوضحها قوله تعالى He said, and the, in its explanation, the tafsir of the statement that will make this very clear is a statement of Allah, the Most High, Ta'ala. Again, Ta'ala is a proof yani, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above his creation. He says, what is? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, what is? Qala Ibrahimu li abihi. وقومه إنني براءة I'm sorry براء مما تعبدون إلا الذي فترني يعني that and when Ibrahim said to his father and to his people that indeed I am free from what you worship except for the one who yani, fashioned me, created me and fashioned me. Okay? That Ibrahim, he freed himself. You know? He freed himself from what his father was upon and what his people were upon, from worshiping anything else. And look at the dawah. He said, except for the one who fashioned me, yani, this goes to show you the sound intellect yani the, 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 the style of the dawah that when you make this kind of statement to somebody yani this kind of statement makes somebody reflect to even say well you know I, that's who i worship too so well then what does this statue do for you you know what i'm saying it, that's how you start to build the conversation yeah he didn't say even like name you know what i mean here so for the one who fashioned me you know, sometimes people get into these arguments, arguments of semantics. Literally, they agree with each other on who is the Lord, what are the qualities of the Lord. They have a differing about the name. Take a vehicle in, get them with you to understand and agree, yani with their sound, yani way, their sound fitra. They will, yani, it will make them reflect then have the conversation about, yani, well, I mean, you said that his name is God, right? Where, where did you get that from? You know what I mean? If you said that you worship God, then what is there a need to have Jesus for? You know what I mean? I don't, I, even in your book, I don't see anything here that says that you should do like that. It, I, I thought it said that the one you call God, the one who created everything, he created you, he gave you life. Why doesn't he deserve that you give him something specific? You know? And this will make people start to think, you know. And he said, al ayah this is uh, this the ayah Then he said, Wa qawluhu, Kul ya ahl kitabi, Ta'alaw, Ila kalimatin, Sawa'in, Bainana wa bainukum. He said, this is the beginning of the ayah. He said, uh, uh, in Surah Ali Imran, he said, to say, O oh, people of the book, come, come, like come here, come, all of you, come over here, right? And let's agree, let's come to an agreement on a, yani, a, a shared statement. You know how like when you're working in a job and you all get together in the company and come together to make a, a mission statement? Right? Telling them, Ahl Kitab, come, 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 let's get together. Let's let's make an agreement here, right? We're gonna make this between us and between you. It's not just Yani, it's just between us and you. Okay? We're not coming to you tell you, hey, just accept everything we say. No, we are gonna agree about this thing together, right? And what is that 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 statement? Allah na Buddha. Illallaha wa la nushrika bihi shay'an. He said, Allah SWT said that we should say to them that we do not worship except for Allah 
and we don't make any partners with him at all. Ba'duna ba'dan arbaban. And that we will not take yani, anyone, some of us, yani, from the, the people as lords. Okay? We will not take anything else as a lord besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? Min duni lahi. Besides Allah. That's the complete statement, right? Walla yattaqidha ba'duna ba'dan arbaban duni lahi. Min duni lahi. Okay? Fa in tawallaw. If they turn away, right? If they turn away. So if they turn away. Fakulu Ashadu Ashadu Bi Anna Bi Muslimun. Nam. Then you say to them, bear witness that we are Muslims. Okay? That we have submitted. You know? We're literally trying to get to an agreement here. We never changed. We did not ask him for anything either. Yani, when you come to give da'wah and speak with the people of the book, it can be very dangerous and very waste of time for you to go into their book, go into their stuff, asking them questions. Aki, what question do you really have for them? Except for the question that will make them think, right? For example, they say uh, that Isa is one of three. What is your what is your statement to them? What is what is what are we taught to say? You have no proof. Just know that you have no proof. I mean, say whatever you want to say. I'm not going to talk to you about it. Just know that you have no sound evidence for that. Just know that. I guarantee you that. We're not going to even talk about it. I'll let you go do the footwork. I'll let you go, but you be sincere. You ask the one who fashioned us, the one who gave us life, the one who you said is the guide, ask him to guide you. Go find the evidence. You're not going to find it. It's not there. I don't have to talk to you about it. But I can tell you the evidence for the opposite. I can show you everything that Allah told us, everything that the Messenger of Saul Salaam said, right? So we shouldn't spend a lot of time with that because, Yani, when you go to them and say, doesn't your book say, very careful. Because in a way, depending on how you say it and what you do, you could be basically affirming that what they have can be used as an evidence. And in reality, they have no what? La burhan lahu. Right? You have no clear proof. A burhan is like, it's more than just a dalil. A burhan is like, yani, a clear, obvious, very clear evidence. You have no clear proof. You can start taking this word and make tat wheel of it and say, you know, when he said like that, then it had to be like this and, and, and this could have been like that and all oh, the burning bush, you know, you know, X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? They could play all these games. They have no clear proof, right? All they're doing is digging in and trying to find stuff that's not there, that they can't even really rely on, right? You know when you do that trust fall? Right? When you stand on the table and you fall forward and your friends are supposed to catch you, right? How about you go stand up there, everybody's sitting down, and you just assume that they're gonna, you say, trust fall, you know? That's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna, you're gonna land on your face. You know what I mean? They don't have no clear proof. Versus if I stand up and I'm looking and I'm like, hey, man, you know, I'm tall. Make sure that you guys aren't just, you know, covering my ankles over here. You know? <laughs> this could turn up really bad, you know. So they have no clear proof, nothing to rely on. Would you lean on a wall that you don't know how it is? Would you build a structure and you don't know how sturdy that wall is? You never would, right? But they attempt to build the religion on this stuff, on straw, on yani you know, particle board, something you cannot build a big, strong structure on. So it's going to collapse. You don't have to go chase them around for it. You just know it's going to collapse. Tell them, go ahead. You have no clear proof, right? Then he said, وَدَلِيلُ شَهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ 
Qawluhu ta'ala. Jade. So he said the proof for the shahada that indeed that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is a statement of Allah, the Most High. Laqad ja'akum rasulun min anfusikum. Azizun alayhi ma anittum. Harisun alaykum. The mu'minin ra'ufun. Ra'ufun rahimun. He said, and then in, indeed, for sure, a messenger has come to you from amongst you, from your own selves. And yani, it is severe on him yani, that you would be harmed. Okay? Yeah, any like haraj, okay? Uh, anitum, that you would be harmed and and uh, and and uh, distressed, okay? Harisun alaykum, and yani it causes and gives him anxiety, okay? It gives him anxiety and in in anguish, okay? Bil mu'minin rauf rahim, and he is with the believers. He is compassionate and he is merciful, okay? Yani. This is our messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa This is the uh, sifa, sifat of the Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, he's our role model. He's the one who we want to be like. We don't want to be like Mike. We want to be like the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Are we with the believers, ra'ufun, rahimun? Wallahi, ask yourself this question. How you show your compassion to the Muslims this week? How did you show that you're, you're merciful with the Muslims, with the believers in this week? And we find that the opposite now. The Muslims are the most severe on one another, lenient with the disbelievers, compassionate with the disbelieving people. My son was talking the other day about Yanni, the Holocaust. Yanni, the Holocaust is a horrible thing, no doubt. Very horrible, but the, the 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 issue that I had was that Yanni, it's almost as if he completely forgot about the things happening to the Ummah and the things that people have done to the Muslims over time. He's not even taught about many of these things. We have to sit down with him and research. And he, Alhamdulillah, my sons, you know, they they take their time and they researched about the Crusades, to find out about the plots, things like this, and the reality of the situation, and yani, the Spanish conquest, and like this, and yani, the history of France, you know, because their, their mother is West African. So there's a lot of history there with Islam in West Africa, yani, which is a huge dynasty of Muslims, and the French, and the French's attitude towards Muslims in general. Yani, this is a big issue. And it's not a surprise to us that they're still holding on to their conservative ideals, you know. But for the Muslims to look in, yani, chasing around even, you know, modern day protest matters. I'm not downplaying social justice. I'm saying that, yani, the priorities of a believer is honestly of a believer. The Prophet Sallallahu he gave priority to Bilal, and Bilal was black. He given to Salman al-Farsi, and he was from Fars, he was Persian. He given to Suhaib al-Rumi, and he was white. Okay? The believers are one body, and the first and most important thing that we are looking to come to Allah with is... La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And our first priority of all of the people on earth is the believers. The nation, the ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The people who follow him, they're our brothers. Right? Innam al-mu'minuna, ikhwa. Right? So this is a very important issue that we really have to just, we can't just read these ayat and not reflect, you know? Are we being compassionate? I mean, are we being merciful with each other? And if we want to have compassion from Allah, 
and we want to have the mercy from Allah, how can we not have compassion and mercy with his creation, especially with the people who are the people of La ilaha illallah, with Muhammad Rasulullah. And he said, وَمَعْنَ شَهَادَةِ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Okay, so you're going to write down these four things. First, you're going to put a number one over the, this first one. He said that, the first, before I go to the four things, he said in the meaning of the shahada that indeed Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, then number one, ta'atuhu fi ma amara. Ta'atuhu fi ma amara, right? So it is to obey him in what he commanded. Number one, this is the meaning of Muhammad Rasulullah. Wallahi, ask a lot of Muslims this question. What does Muhammad Rasulullah mean? What does it necessitate? It necessitates these four things. This is the meaning of it, okay? وَتَصْدِيكُهُ فِي مَا أَخْبَرَ Jade. So, and it is to affirm whatever he informed us of, we say it's the truth. He told us about it, we say it's true. The best example, Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu anhu, a Siddiq. He said, they came to him and said, you know, Muhammad says that he went to Jerusalem and he went up into, you know, the heavens and came back in one night. He asked one question. Did he say that? They said, yes, he said that. He said, it's the truth. Then he did it. Khalas. That's it. He's the best example that we have, right? When Khadija, radiallahu anha, when the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, came down when the revelation started, imagine this man knew this woman for years. For years. And he went off into seclusion. Imagine you go into seclusion. You come back and tell your wife that you were visited by an angel. <laughs> your wife is going to say, you're not going to go nowhere no more. Like, <laughs> Khalas. That's it. You know? That's it. You know? She didn't question for one second, not one bit. And he became worried. She's the first Muslim. Best example. Told him automatically, no question. What are you talking about? Are you sure? Are you sure? This is, uh, drink some water, maybe dehydrated. You know, was it a dream maybe? You thought it was real? No question, right? SubhanAllah. So you have to affirm whatever he informed you of, right? Wajtinabu ma naha anhu wa zajra. That you have to yani, leave off whatever he forbade us from and whatever he disapproved of, okay? Whatever. Anything that he forbade you from doing. He didn't approve of it. He, yani, basically almost ridicule or criticize it. Yani, leave it. Leave it. You know? Uh, dogs do not enter into the house. Or, uh, Malaika do not enter into the house where the dog is in it. Right? Dogs and pictures. Take the pictures down. Get the dog out of the house. Out of the area we're going to pray at least. You know? It's not haram to have a dog, but there's rulings to how you should have the dog. And there's some common logic that you should use. Who doesn't want the malaika in their house? People are afraid of scary movies. Mm -hmm. Same guy afraid of scary movies, a Muslim, afraid of scary movies. He's afraid of, yani, ghosts, okay? But he has dogs running in and out of his house. He's not afraid of not having malaika in there. I mean, if you want to fear something, you want to have something to counter it. They, the malaika are there to protect you. It's Allah. Who doesn't want the malaika around them? You know? But they're afraid of ghosts. You know? It's crazy. Coming to the masjid after you have eaten yani, uh, onions, right? Or you cook with a lot of onions and garlic. The Prophet ﷺ, he forbade, uh, he actually told the individual to leave the masjid. Okay? He prevented him from entering the masjid because of this reason. The Prophet said it. Now, I know 
many of us, our diets, onions is a staple for a lot of the foods, right? Yani, but if you are going to come to the masjid, you know, smelling like, you know, you just made something, yani, think about these things. The Prophet said, don't do it, you know, leave it off, right? Leave off whatever he informed you of to, to leave off. And he said, And then to not worship Allah except for with what he legislated. Okay? Whatever the Prophet legislated. Don't worship Allah with anything else besides what the Prophet Legislated. It came from Allah and His Messenger. Okay? So number one is the ta'a. Number two, put the number two over the tasdiq. Put number three over the ijtinab. Then put a number four over, over uh, an la yu'bad Allah. Okay? There's a number five that the Sheikh did not write here that I'm asking you to add. This was an addition from uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Abu Salah in his explanation. He said, number five, وَالتَّفْدِيلْ قَوْلُهُ عَلَى مَنْ سَوَى And to prefer his statement over anybody else. Right? عَلَى إِطْلَاقْ أَخِي if we know that the Prophet Sallallahu said something a certain way, prefer his statement over everybody else's statement. Even if it's, Yani, this is said this way and it's the truth, and you could say it this way and it's the truth, but the Prophet Sallallahu said it this way, which way do we say? The way the Prophet Sallallahu said it. I don't care if it was, you know, who's this guy? The guy says he's so smart, the uh, Dyson guy. The uh, astronomer, Michael Neil Patrick Dyson, or something like that. He's a, a strong astronomer. Huh? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's that guy that had the robot voice. The uh, the guy that died. The 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 uh, the moonhead. Yeah, Hawkins, the guy who died with doubt. The guy with doubt, do you know how much doubt he put in the heart of the people? I don't care what somebody says. If they said it, even an imam, if the sheikh said it, but you have something from the prophet, which one are you going to take? Take from the prophet, sallallahu It sounds better. It's better, you know. Jay. Then he said on the next page, what delilu salati, what zakati, Tafsir, uh, Tafsir, what well, Tafsir Tawheed Kolahu Jade. So he said in the proof for the zakat and uh, the the salah and the zakat and the explanation of Tawheed, Yani Kolahu Taala, wa ma umiru illa liyabudullaha mukhlisin alahuddin hunafaa. وَيُقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ وَيُوتُ الزَّكَاةِ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ قَيِّمًا نعم I have a note here but I can't read it I can he said oh دِينُ قَيِّمًا it comes mu'annith al-qayyima it comes mu'annith mudaf ilayhi bi'tibarihi al-sifa that the statement uh, al-qayyima it comes as a mudaf mudaf ilayhi okay that the deen it comes deen uh, al it comes as a sifa, a mu'annith, al qayyima, because it's mudafi lehi bi atibarihi sifatin. So it comes, yani, with the bi yani, it's, uh, 
it's a uh, consideration. Sifa, that it is a uh, a in the context of, of description. Jade, he said, and the proof is the statement, and uh, you were not, you all were not commanded except to worship Allah, making your religion sincerely for Him, Hunafa'ah, and to establish the Salah, and to give the Zakah, and that is the Deen of Qayyimah, that is the upright religion, the, the religion that is upright with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. What the Lilu Siami? Allahu Ta'ala. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu. Kutiba alaykum as-siyam. Kutiba alaykum as-siyam. Kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum. Kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum. Now, that O oh, you who believe, then fasting was written for you. It was prescribed for you like it was prescribed for those who came before you in hopes that you would attain taqwa. Okay? In hopes that you would attain taqwa. Okay? So this is the proof for Siam. Then he said, and the proof for Hajj, what the little Hajj, Qawluhu Ta'ala, Walillahi, Ala Nasi, Hajj al-Bayti, Manistata'a, Manistata'a ilayhi sabila. Woman kafara. Fa in the laha. Vani yun. Anna la alimin. MashaAllah, subhanAllah. He said, and the, the proof for Hajj is a statement of Allah and for Allah over the people. Yani, is that they will make Hajj to the house of Allah, those who have the ability to. And whoever refuses and denies this, okay, whoever refuses and denies to do this, they disbelieve in this, then Allah is not in need of all of his creation. He is free from any need from all of his creation. You are not doing this for him. You know? Think about this when you're talking to your children. Sometimes when we're disciplining them, they think that we're trying to make them do what we want them to do. When we're not doing it for us, we're telling them to do it for them. You know? We want you to do the right thing so you don't suffer the consequences. But if you don't want to do the right thing, then when the consequences come, then know that I did not do this for you. You will find out. You're going to learn pretty soon. You know, me raising teenagers, it's like you go crazy. I don't know how the shake is here now. Wallahi, it makes you like you there go through so many changes. You know? And you're looking, yeah, they, yeah. The the whole time. And you find yourself yelling at them even. Look at Yani to make the statement of Allah not just Yani what you believe is the truth but to Yani actualize this. Yani to Allah is the highest example, but here is a nice benefit. When you're giving to talk to the people to help them, in any case, you're telling them, listen, man, I'm just telling you what you need to do, right? This is good for you, right? And if you refuse to do this and you deny that this is good for you, then hey, man, look, I'm not doing this because I needed anything from you. You know, I just wanted to give you some advice and, you know, and join in, in the truth with you. But, if not, then khalas. And it's easier said than done, you know? But, Yani, this is a good way because imagine if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compelled us to do every single thing, always, 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 nonstop, right? Yani, look at the benefit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guiding us, giving us proper guidance, telling us, listen, this, this, and that, khalas. Right? Look at the benefit of the quality of the life of the worshiper who simply submits to the reality. Versus if you almost didn't have a choice and Allah was just doing things then for you. Right? What I mean doing things for you is, Yanni, that you, for example, would, for like Hajj, for example, you know, 
if you were going to go to make Hajj. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanded us to do it. He told us to do it if you have the ability to do it, right? But if you refuse to do it, you know? So Allah knows, Allah knows if you have the ability to do it or not to do it, right? Now imagine, Yani, the quality there for the individual who does it submiss submissively to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that they have the, uh, the ability and hoping for the mercy from Allah and fearing the punishment from Allah, right? Versus if it was just like made to happen for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is yani, a nice principle in cultivating people, in da'wah, in raising your children, in dealing with your family, and especially your wives as well, right? With the believers, we're what? Ra'uf and Rahim. This follow the example of the messenger, Sallallahu You know, your wife, you come, you, you know, have the, the famous talk with her, maybe, right? What do you think about the... Uh, the plural marriage. <laughs> Polygamy. Yeah, I mean, maybe she was raised a certain way. She was, you know, given certain whatever, however this is, you know. She's looked with you and everything. You see this is good. Maybe even is going to save you from the fire. Okay? Yeah, I mean, it's good. Yeah, I mean, she don't want to take it, she don't want to take it. Tell her, listen, you know, I'm just trying to tell you something that is better and, and good. I mean, look at the best example, you know, it's a touchy subject and you got to be smart about it, right? In any each situation, your wife disagrees with you. You're trying to tell her, listen, you should do like this. She is insisting. This is not a major thing that's going to, Yanni, take you to the point of divorce, but it could be if you're not thinking wise, you know, the, the, the style in dealing with people sometimes is to say, listen, you're gonna do what you're gonna do, then hey, I was I wasn't I wasn't telling you this advice for any kind of gain. I gained nothing almost from this, except for the fact I gave you the advice, you know? And to Allah is the highest example. Allah is free of any need from his creation, right? And we need him. So when Allah tells us to do something, khalas, we do it. When the Messenger of Allah said for us to do it, then we do it. Inshallah Ta'ala, this is where we'll stop at this point. Uh, we'll start with the Martabat uh, Iman. Uh, uh, next week, Inshallah, anything I said is correct is from Allah's Messenger. Anything I said is not correct is from myself or Shaitan and Allah's Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallah, whom we humbly can share one. Ilaha the Antistafu Tubu Alik. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.